Y'all, Steven here, Bam Saltwater Fishing. As you see behind me, the sun is on its way down for the day. And we're just doing some inshore fishing, trying to find some fish that I can throw in that cooler. So let me show you what I'm using real quick, and we'll get right into it. So I'm gonna get a shrimp out. This is a new penny color, three inch shrimp. It's a scented bait. And rig it up on our 3 8 ounce jig head. Wanna make sure it's straight as can be on that hook. Poke it out of the back, push it up on the keeper, and then we have a rigged up shrimp ready to go. So that, like I said, that's a 3 8 ounce red jig head with about 18 inches of 20 pound clear leader coming to a little double uni. Now I'm throwing this on a Daiwa Saltis 2500 with 15 pound braid and a Star Plasma 2 7 foot medium heavy fast action rod. So we're gonna tighten our drag and see what we can catch today. I like to make long casts along drop-offs and where I see bait or anywhere you think a fish might be. Make a long cast, let that shrimp sink down to the bottom, reel in the slack, give it a sharp twitch, let it sink back down again. It's as easy as that. So we're gonna hop this back around and see if we can catch some fish to take home. Mm. There's something. That's got to be a flounder. The way it's just dead weight. I bet that is. Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, man. You know what I did? Is forget my net. That's a good flounder. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, thank you for not coming off, buddy. Check out that jig. He annihilated it. That is an awesome fish. Really pretty flounder on the Daiwa. Y'all check that out. That is gonna go great at home. I absolutely love these things. I think they're cool. They only have to be 14 inches in the state of Alabama and you're actually allowed five per person. So what an awesome fish. That is, that's amazing. You gotta love it. Yo, that flounder was awesome. What a great specimen of a fish. My jig is still good. There's a few bites taken out of it but it'll still work. So it's back on the hook straight. Let's get another cast out and try to catch some more. So here we go. Man, what a nice fish. I'm excited about that. See, flounder bite feels like you're stuck on the bottom. They pretty much come up and tap your lure or your bait, and then it just feels like you're kind of stuck on a piece of grass or shell or something. Now, if you're using live bait, you want to wait a little bit before you set that hook. A jig, you can just give it a few seconds and then set it good. So now that the sun's down a little bit, I've transitioned to a topwater lure. I'm throwing it on the same rod and reel, same leader. Only thing I've done different is tie a loop knot. Now this is a Rapala Skitterwalk size 11, which I still have some of these on BamaSaltWater.com. This one's in the silver color. Let's see if we can find us a big speckled trout on top. Perfect time of year for it. But I'm just gonna walk this topwater lure back to me. You want it to go side to side. Nice steady retrieve. Every now and then you can pause it. You can speed it up. But really I just do a nice consistent retrieve back to me. And it's a great way to cover some water. Oh. You gonna come back for it, you dummy? <clears throat> Missed it. Dang. <laughs> He's right there. So I switched to a little smelt style bait. This little like three inch minnow on an eighth ounce jig head just to match the hatch. A lot of these minnows these fish are eating are pretty tiny right now. And I missed the bite on a trout, so we're gonna try to get redemption. Ooh, fish on. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> there we go. I was fixing my hat, and just got a pretty nice speckled trout. Heck yeah. Look at that. See, I switched to that little smelt imitating or little minnow imitating lure on the lighter jig head just to match the hatch. 
and just land in a nice speckled trail. These things only have to be 15 inches here in Alabama. So he's gonna go in our cooler. That's a good one. Heck yeah, look how pretty they are. The little jigs putting in the work. Let's get it back out. I'm trying to be quiet, that's why I'm kind of whispering. <laughs> There's a mullet. <laughs> That's when you know you're fishing in the right spot is when the bait fish are jumping up like that. There's a good fish right under this dock light. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, it's pulling pretty hard. What is it? What are you? Hopefully y'all can still see. Oh, it's another nice keeper trout. Heck yeah, that's a good one. Under the dock light, check that out. Beautiful speckled trout. Heck yeah. That's exactly what I've been looking for today. Flounder and something fun to catch and good to take home and eat. This one's gonna go in the cooler with the other one. All in that little bitty lure right there. Let's try that again. I don't know how well y'all can see, but dock lights are one of my favorite ways of fishing. Usually I like to fish these at like 1 a.m. But I'm already out here, so might as well start fishing them. Yeah, as soon as I turned the camera off, I just got bit by another fish. Oh, that's a redfish. I just got my inshore slam, not a keeper, but that did make a slam. That's a redfish, trout, and flounder. Pretty cool. Y'all, that is awesome. Check that out. We're gonna let this one go, but thank you, buddy. Let him go. Y'all, we are back out the next morning. Had a really nice couple hours of fishing yesterday, and I'm back to complete the task again. So I'll be throwing the same thing. That's just a little three inch shrimp and new penny on a 3 8 ounce jig head. So let's get that out there and see what else we can catch today. I definitely wanna bring home some more flounder. So let's see if we can get one. Oh, there's one. Got a flounder on. <laughs> Let go. Is it going to come back for it? Come on. There it is. Got it. I don't know if that's a flounder. No, it looks like a lizard fish. It is a lizard fish. All right. They act pretty much the same because they both bury down in the sand and ambush their prey. But that's a lizard fish. Kind of cool looking thing, if you ask me. There we go. There's a lot of them out here. So we're gonna let him go. They are edible to some extent. It's very bony, not a lot of meat on them. So they're not really like a primary target for most people. Here you go, buddy. So they do act very similar to a flounder when they bite. Because like I said, they bury down in that sand. If you ever release one and watch it in shallow water, it'll sit down on the bottom and kind of vibrate its body and cover itself up till where it's just its eye sticking out. It's actually pretty cool. Y'all, what is going on everybody? You know, I am at home fishing and I've already caught two of these. I wasn't gonna film, but the fishing's pretty good. So we're gonna get him back. This little puppy black drum. There you go, bud. And he gone, he was only out of the water for like half a minute at the most. This is a Fairhope rattle popping cork. It's a really great cork and strong and affordable. And one more thing, locally made. Now I'm not sponsored or paid by them, but I do enjoy using them. I'm running about two and a half foot of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, coming down to a 1-0 circle hook. And now about eight to 10 inches above that hook with a small little split shot weight. And that keeps my bait suspended down at the bottom. Get a live shrimp out of here. Look at these frisky little things. Those are perfect live shrimp. And that's what we're gonna bait up. So I caught two off camera already. Like I said, I didn't plan on filming. Now I have the camera on, let's see if we can catch a bigger one. So I do like to hook these shrimp where that horn meets the body. You go in sideways and then you have a beautifully hooked bait. Looks very natural hanging under a cork or bobber. And mom just came out and got hooked up. You gonna let it whoop you on that? Yeah. It's <laughs> a big fish right there, yeah. It's a real big fish. It's gonna be tricky right here, ain't it? 
I had to grab the net off my boat. That's a giant. Yep. Okay, give some slack. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Because otherwise your line's going to pull him out of the net. There you go. That's a big one. That's a big, big ugly there. All right, we're going to get it back. You want to set him down? Set him down gently. Yeah, set him down gently. We don't want to hold these big fish up really at all or too much vertically because they'll get internal bleeding. Like I said, you want to be careful with these things. They're so old, really cool fish. Support their belly and we're going to get this one back. So you want to let them swim away on their own. Otherwise, it's just going to float upside down. All right. <laughs> it's swimming away. There we go. It's swimming away pretty slow, but now it's back down and actually getting away from us. So that's a healthy release right there. Look at all these bait fish. Good job. <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> no? Yeah, that was fun. Those are cool. They that are was really hard. Cool. That one was pretty big. One. Oh, yeah, that was a big one. Probably 35 pounds. They, well, thank uh, you for your help. Yeah, no problem. Those things can be full of worms, so that's he why we like to turn them back. He would have got me in those pylons if you hadn't told me where Oh, yeah, that's a terrible thank spot you. to try to hook the fish. But you got it. <laughs> cool. Good job. So I got another pretty shrimp. We're going to see what's hanging around this morning. There we go. Oh, already getting a bite. As soon as I threw that shrimp in there. What are you doing around here, Pelican? What's up, buddy? I ain't got no fish for you this morning, look. There's a fish. Oh yeah. Okay, first one hooked up this morning. And the pelican won't move out of the way. <laughs> no, 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 hey! <laughs> Get back! This is a beautiful redfish, not a keeper. And now I got this monster trying to get it. This is not yours, man. Look at that pretty redfish, y'all. I'm gonna try to get this sucker back before the old brown pelican comes up here and gets it. Most of these pelicans are afraid of humans back here, but I guess not today. There you go, redfish. What are you doing, man? <laughs> You're a bad pelican, and he's shaking his tail feathers like my dog. So I caught that redfish. We got a old Mr. Pelican still hanging around. Let's see what else we'll get. Left home, decided to come out fishing with my buddy Malik. We're going to try to catch us some more fish on these popping courts. Now that we're in the boat, let's see what we can do. Dude, it's instant, man. As soon as I. <laughs> There's a fish. Yeah, there's one right there. Finally hooked up. What do you think it is? A mangrove? Probably. I bet it is. That's what it looks like. Yep. Pretty little critter. Oh, that might be a nine inch fish. You know, I got a beautiful mangrove snapper or black snapper, gray snapper. They just call different things, but those are great eating when they're 12 inches here in Alabama. He is not, so he had to go back. Oh, Malik's hooked up. What you got, old son? <laughs> Mangrove. Mangrove. No, trout. No, trout. Oh, man, that's a pretty one. That's a pretty trout. He ain't a keeper. Neither was mine, so. This is better than the catfish we were catching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Pretty little fish. Yeah, they are. They're gorgeous. Y'all, so we both landed nice species. Couldn't keep any of them. We're gonna see if we can find us some keepers. I'm already getting another bite as soon as it hits the water. <laughs> oh, took my sh man. Them mangroves, dude, are some bait thieves. Keep it in the middle a little bit. There we go. I got one. That's my. Those will work pretty. This one's a pretty good fish here. See that? No, nah, we're gonna boat flip it. It's a trout though. No. No, it's a trout. Kind of looked like a snook for a second. Man, he would have been a keeper a couple years ago. Being a 14 incher. Yeah. But they have to be 15 now in Alabama. Pretty little speckled trout. At least we're getting on some fish. There you go, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Like you had rigged up before? Yep. 
I just need to play a little less drag with this braid. <laughs> well, I've already hooked up. <laughs> Dude, it, it is crazy how instant it is, isn't it? It's just, I think this is a little mangrove. Oh, dude, there's look at all the mullet. Oh, that's probably what that was swimming under me. And there's a trout. Kind of lost count of the fish now. Oh, another fish on. Alrighty. Come on in. I say right now it's quantity over quality for sure. So that's another trout, speckled trout. If these were white trout, we could keep them. There you go. All right, there he goes. He is going out. Y'all, we are back home. Woo, and it is windy, windy, windy. Yo, let's go check out the water. What you doing, Bubba, huh? You like to run away? <laughs> All right, come on. Set you down. Let's go. So I am back home, obviously. That was a fun couple days of fishing. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I know a few of y'all have been asking to do an inshore fishing trip and the offshore bite has been so good and I love getting out there, but it is still fun being able to stay inshore and still catch some great fish, especially on these super windy days. I don't know if you can tell, it's gusting pretty good. But you can get most of those lures I was using in this video on BamaSaltwater.com, limited stock, it's all on clearance. I was using those little Berkeley minnows. They'll be linked down below. And then the Rapala Topwater. You can get that on BamaSaltwater.com. They'll be linked below. Also check out Frog Talks. They are awesome and do support the channel. I wear their shoes, rain jackets, hats. You can use promo code BAMA20 and save you 20% off. They'll be linked down below as well. I appreciate you for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Channel's constantly growing. It's amazing. I welcome everybody that's new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later. Say bye to everybody, buddy. This is our eight-year-old shit zoo named Bobo. Named after the Bonita. Want to say bye? Uh, all right. See ya. See you, see ya.